Greetings. Thank you so much for this opportunity to come to you through this medium and share the Word of God with you, take a moment to pray with you. We trust you're enjoying your walk with God day by day and that it just gets stronger, richer and better as you journey with Him. This week, we are talking about feeding on the Word and we are highlighting how we can draw nourishment from the Word of God for our inner being, our spirit, man. Because the Word of God is milk, it's bread, it's solid food for all of us, and we need it to strengthen our inner person. We started talking about the process of meditation, and we said the first step in meditation is contemplation. The second part of meditation is visualization. To visualize simply means that you imagine the Word of God becomes part of your imagination. Now, God has created this faculty that we call as imagination. That is somehow in our mind, we're able to paint pictures. We're able to see colors. We're able to see things on the canvas of our imagination. God created us that way. And so the ability to, when you're seeing in your mind's eye, and you're imagining, we call that visualization. So God wants, as part of meditation, you also visualize the word. You're contemplating, which is you're thinking deeply on the scripture. But now you're letting your, the word paint pictures on your mind, on the canvas of your mind. You're visualizing it. You're seeing the word come alive. You see yourself in the word and you see the word becoming reality in you, in your life. In Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22, God says, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Notice he said, don't let them depart from your eyes. Now, what eyes is he talking about? Well, of course, we use our physical eyes to read the Bible, but you can't stick the Bible in front of your physical eyes 24-7. You've got to, got to look at other things, of course. So, what's he talking about? He's talking about the eyes of your inner person. What, what captures your imagination, that we would say. He says, let my word capture your imagination. Don't let them depart from your eyes. Your, your, your focus, what you're seeing from the inside, is you're seeing my word all the time. So we need, as part of meditation, to visualize the word. You see yourself becoming what the word says you will become. See, your, see the word becoming reality in your life. The Bible says, by his stripes you are healed. See yourself healed. The Bible says, whatever you do, prosper. See yourself prospering in whatever you're doing. You see that word becoming alive in you. Visualize the Word. So as you're reading the Word, you're contemplating and you're seeing that Word become real in you. It's part of meditation. Do it. Every time you read the Word, meditate in it. Contemplate and visualize. We'll continue this tomorrow. Let's pray. Father, help us to meditate on your Word so that your word becomes real inside of us, fills us, changes us, feeds us, transforms us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.